Hi, it's Yui. Welcome to my channel, Chibi Chibi Chef Japanese Home Cooking. Today, I'd like to show you how to make crispy ponzu karage and karage rice balls with chicken breast. You can also cook this with chicken thighs. I introduced how to cook crispy ponzu karage with chicken thighs in a past video, but I'm very sorry that I said use cornstarch instead of potato starch. My mistake! So I like to cook the crispy and tender chicken karage with potato starch again. To make it healthier, I'm using chicken breast this time, but it will be still tender. Also, I show you how to make karage onigiri rice balls. First, I'm washing white short grain rice a few times, then following the package instructions, I'm letting the rice sit in the water for 20 to 30 minutes. Now let's cut the chicken breast. First, trim the excess fat of the chicken breast. Then to cut the chicken breast into same size pieces, starting from the chicken tender side. For this recipe, to put the karage into the rice balls and also to show a part of the karage from the top of the rice balls at the same time, I'm making stick-shaped chicken pieces. You'll find out how I'm going to put these stick-shaped pieces inside the rice balls later in the video. You can cut the pieces in half to make them thinner. Chicken breast tends to get hard when you cook it, so tenderize with a fork. But if you're using chicken thighs, you can skip this part. Then put the chicken in the Ziploc bag and marinate it. The marinated ingredients are the same as in my past video. Salt Pepper Grated ginger Grated garlic and a ponzu. The acidity from the ponzu makes the chicken tender, but believe me, it won't taste sour at all. Close and mix well. You can smell the nice and delicious garlic smell from the bag already. Leave it at room temperature for 30 minutes. This is another tip to make the chicken breast tender. While marinating the chicken, let's cook the rice. Drain the water from the rice completely. Put the rice in a pot or rice cooker. Add water by following the rice package instructions. Cook over high heat until it comes to a boil. When boiling, change to low heat. After 16-18 minutes, stop cooking. Gently mix the rice. Let it sit for a while with the lid on. Now back to the chicken. Get rid of the excess liquid of the chicken before breading to make the chicken super crispy. This time, it's really potato starch, and I'm very sorry for those who used cornstarch to try the karage last time. 
add potato starch and water in the bowl. Mix them well to make small clumps. In the beginning, it might be a little bit hard to mix them, but it gets easier. The more breading you have, the easier it is to coat the chicken pieces. You can use both of your hands or chopsticks to make the small clumps. Coat the chicken breast pieces one by one. Have cooking oil ready in a medium sized pot that will cover a few chicken pieces and heat it up to 350 Fahrenheit. Drop one or two breading crumbs into the oil, and if they surface quickly, the temperature is right. Gently drop three or four chicken pieces into the oil. Change to low heat if it gets too hot. Don't forget to put the lid on for your safety. Flip the pieces halfway through the cook time. Cook three to four minutes for chicken breast, and four to six minutes for chicken thighs. Now let's make the karaage onigiri. Add some salt onto the cooked rice. Season well. Mix for a tastier dish. If you have this large size seaweed, cut along the long side by folding in three. Make three long pieces. Then fold them in half and cut to make 6 pieces. Make sure to have the rice ball on the inside of the seaweed. Cut one third of the chicken piece. The small piece goes on top of the rice ball, and the long piece goes inside of the rice ball. It's easy to make rice balls if you use plastic wrap. Place the rice on the plastic wrap to make it flat. Place the long chicken piece in the center of the rice. Rub the chicken with the rice. To cover the chicken completely, add a little bit of rice on the top. Use both hands to make a triangular shape. Continue to shape with fingers and palm. If it's too difficult, use a table surface to shape it. But don't squeeze too hard and squash the rice. Make a little hole on the top of the rice bowl to place the small chicken peels. Place the rice bowl in the center of the cut seaweed. By cutting the chicken peels, you can make beautiful karage rice balls. Thank you so much for watching. Matane! Oi, mayo.